Hello viewers, today we're going to start a series of videos dedicated to a DNA editing program called APE or APE. Now, what's so special about this program? Well, it's intuitive, first of all, and it's absolutely free. Uh, a majority of my videos feature programs um, in, the, in the laser gene suite, right, which is quite costly. And I, and I have gotten a lot of comments about other alternatives. So I searched the web for options, and the best one I found, in my opinion anyway, is APE. Now, it's very streamlined, and it's easy and simple to use. Today, it's just going to be an introductory video showing you where to download the program, and I'll be going over specific uses and features in subsequent videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Google and simply type in APE. That's so what I'm going to do. APE. There we go. And we're going to just search that. And we get some pictures of apes. Well, this is not what we really want. And it's actually the second link right here. Um, APE, a plasmid editor. I'm going to click on this. And then we're just going to go ahead and click on the icon up here, depending on what operating system you're running. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click on Windows here. And then we're just going to go ahead and save. Okay. Uh, we're going to wait for it to download. And it's done. Okay. Now, what's awesome about this program is that there's no installer file. All you have to do is open up the zip file. And then all you have to do is just drag the exe somewhere. Doesn't it doesn't have to be your desktop. It can be anywhere on one of your drives. And all you have to do is just click on it to run. That's it, really. No installation. So it's minimal uh, load on your computer, and it's just very straightforward, very clean. Okay, great. Now this is the kind of the user interface of this program. And to get started, we just need to get a DNA sequence. So I've already picked one out. It's just kind of random. Um, we're going to be using this Influenza A uh, M gene sequence. Well, this is actually the M1 protein. Um, or the M1 gene, which is part of the matrix gene of influenza. The M gene in influenza actually encodes for, I believe, three proteins. M1, M2, and I think there's M3, although I'm not 100% sure. Because um, that I think there was M3 that was recently discovered. Anyway, so if we just scroll down here, here we have, we have the entire M, M, uh, M gene from influenza. This is what, influenza, oh, H5N1, okay, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and click on the CDS. Just, I'm just going to show you right here. This is the coding sequence for M1. M2 is not showing in this case specifically because it's made by uh, um, alternative splicing, and I'm not going to get into that right now. So anyway, so we're going to copy this entire gene sequence, not just, not, not just the uh, coding sequence. So we're going to copy everything, and we're going to just control C, and we're going to open up our APE program, and we're going to just control V to copy and paste. And that's pretty much it. Now that we have working DNA that we can start editing and using and annotating and manipulating, we'll be able to do many things with it. And, um, and that's pretty much it. Again, this is just an introductory video, just introducing you guys to this program, showing you where to download it and how to get sequences into the program. Very simple, very straightforward. So I'm going to be spending some time working on this, working in this program, because I'm not very familiar with it either. But a lot of the options, I, I was just browsing through it, for example, and a lot of the options are uh, pretty straightforward, it seems. So this is a very useful program, and I highly recommend this program for any cloning project, or if you just want to look at your DNA, or annotate it, or whatever. Um, again, I'm going to go over its uses later on. And uh, yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Um, please like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Until next time everyone, this is Scyther88 signing off.